As of the 1st of September 2022, metering devices installed on heat networks must comply with the accuracy requirements set out under Regulation 5 of the Heat Networks Metering and Billing Regulations to ensure that customers are billed accurately and charged for their actual heat consumption. A link to the regulations will be provided in the description of this video. Let's briefly look at how heat meters work. A heat meter is a device which measures the thermal energy used by a final customer from a heat source such as a boiler or heat pump. By measuring the flow rate of the heat transfer fluid and temperature change between the outflow and the return legs of the system, the meter can calculate the thermal energy used by the final customer. The purpose of heat meters is to accurately measure heating or cooling. This, combined with accurate billing, is an effective tool to decarbonize the environment through behavioral change and for detecting inefficiencies and faults in a heat network. So what causes meters to be inaccurate? Heat meters are installed on heating systems which exposes them to systematic problems that make them drift in accuracy. It's for this reason that measures need to be taken to mitigate drifts in accuracy and ensure final customers only pay for the heating and cooling they use in a fair and transparent manner. Final customer meters that are installed will likely be intrusive meters. An intrusive heat meter is one that is installed into the pipework of a network. As they are installed in the pipework, they are exposed to the following issues which can affect their accuracy. Dirt in the heating system fluid, unwanted corrosive products and air in the heating system, improper installation, such as clamping the temperature sensors on pipes rather than installing the temperature sensor into pockets, using non-matching pairs of temperature sensors, not allowing enough straight pipes to smooth out or eliminate swirl, which may be introduced by things such as valves, temperature sensor pockets, and pumps, installing the flow meter in the flow path when it's been calibrated for the return circuit or vice versa, and using glycol solution in systems where the heat meter was set up for water. What heat suppliers need to do to ensure accuracy and comply with the regulations. The OPSS recommends installing heat meters that meet the MID EN1434 or OIML R75 standards, which gives confidence in accuracy and reliability due to the stringent measures these standards put in place. The OPSS recommends that all metering equipment is installed by a competent installer and in line with the manufacturer's instructions. These two steps will ensure that there is confidence of accuracy at the point at which the meter is installed. Once installed, the heat supplier should have a plan for the accuracy of the heat meters, which includes the calibration and monitoring of the heat meter. This also includes the maintenance of the heating system on which the heat meter is installed. This monitoring should be done on a regular basis to ensure that the meter remains accurate and functioning correctly as in line with the regulations. The benefits of properly installed and accurate meters. By installing metering devices correctly and maintaining the heat network on a regular basis, the heat supplier will ensure heat metering devices last longer while accurately measuring the heating or cooling used by final customers, the ability to quickly identify inaccurate heat meters or faults and inefficiencies in the network, fair and transparent billing for the final customers, best practice with regards to the maintenance of their heating systems, minimize disputes and disruptions with regards to billing and the supply of heat, and confidence in the system for their final customers and help to enact behavioral change which will lead to the use of less energy and help towards decarbonization. To recap, the OPSS recommends that heat suppliers install heat meters that meet MID or OIML standards, and that they are installed following the manufacturer's instructions to ensure confidence in the accuracy from the point of installation. The OPSS also recommends that the heat supplier has an accuracy plan to monitor and maintain the network and meters to ensure their ongoing accuracy and compliance with Regulation 5. A link to the regulations covered in this video will be provided in the description. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us at heatnotifications at base.gov.uk. We hope that you found this video explainer useful and that it helped you gain a better understanding of the meter accuracy requirements in the heat network's metering and billing regulations.